Hey everybody, my name is Carlos Sanchez Wizard. I am the Partnership Director for PWA. My name is Cole Whitehurst, and I'm the Vice President of the Portland Workforce Alliance. My name is Natalie Miller. I'm currently the Co-Director of Development for the Board. My name is Susan Nielsen. I'm the Executive Director of Portland Workforce Alliance. Uh, my name is Scott Eve and I was one of the founders of PWA and the original president of the association. How did it start? <laughs> there was a, a distinct labor shortage in Portland in the manufacturing sector. We were trying to find a way to build a pipeline, a network to discover how we could attract more people into the industry. And we had an idea that it probably had to do with the youth of Portland because most of them had no idea about the opportunities that were there. I got asked to come down to City Hall for what became a really fateful meeting where I met Kevin G. Scale. And I knew in that meeting that he was someone that we, we had to figure out how to get him connected and then how to kind of turn him loose. But he was able to communicate this idea of an opportunity for people that, that made kids, it, it, you saw it grab their attention. That's what's made it last because it's about relationships. Kevin was one of the most inspiring people I've ever met. And I think Kevin knew from the very beginning that the heart of this work is relationships. I mean, yes, it's career exploration, it's workforce development, but at the core, it is about the connections that people are able to make with each other. It's about creating opportunities where people can be in community with each other. And that's really where the magic happens. That's a big part of Kevin's legacy, and it's something I think we'll hold as our North Star as we go forward. Focusing on students is crucial for our community because the students are our incoming workforce. They best know what their needs are, what their aspirations are, and it's up to us now in the Portland Workforce Alliance and our community members, our companies, to meet their needs. We don't do this work alone, right? I think we're always looking for ways to partner and, and ways to navigate and, and, and reduce the inequities that exist in, in our community. And my hope is that, you know, we continue to grow together, that we continue to invest in, in the right places, that we continue to uplift the voices that haven't been uplifted, that we continue to pave the way for those that don't have a road or that, that have a, a broken road. What I've really come to appreciate about PWA is that it's all about inclusion, whether you're a volunteer, whether you're a student, whether you're an employer and who we work with, that anyone can join the organization and contribute their time and effort and resources because everybody has something to give to this cause. Anyone can join. We want to have that big community that's diverse, that has all different thoughts and all different experiences. And so that's something that has kept me here as a volunteer, quite frankly. When I think of the expo, I think about the yellow school buses pulling up. I think about thousands of high school students, all with that unique energy. And I love the idea that in that big group of people, there are students whose lives are gonna be changed because of that day. That's really hard when you're a teenager to figure out what you wanna do. And that's true even if you have a lot of resources. And so I think one core value that PWA has is that access to career exploration, career development, career readiness is not an extra, it's not a nicety, it's a matter of social and economic justice for students. We really want students to be able to visualize the future they want for themselves and to have access to the resources that allow them to pursue that future. 